Hello, welcome to Government House. My name is Antoinette Perry, and I am the Lieutenant Governor of Prince Edward Island. In every province of Canada, the Lieutenant Governor represents the Queen directly. Like the Lieutenant Governors before me, I was appointed by the Governor General on the advice of the Prime Minister to serve for five years. As Head of State for Prince Edward Island, I need to ensure that the province always has a head of government known as the Premier. If the office becomes vacant because of death or resignation, it is my duty as the Lieutenant Governor to see that the post is filled. The responsibility is the same if the government resigns after a defeat in the Legislative Assembly or in an election. Some of my other duties include the swearing-in of the Premier and Cabinet, and reading the speech from the throne to open the PEI Legislature. In addition, as Lieutenant Governor, I give royal assent in Her Majesty's name to all measures and bills voted by the Legislative Assembly, and I sign orders in Council and many other official documents to bring them into effect as law. Imagine if all of Victoria Park was your front lawn. Here at the top of the park on a 10-acre property, surrounded by gardens and neatly manicured lawns, sits historic government house at Fanning Bank. It is the official residence and office of Prince Edward Island's Lieutenant Governor. Right now, as Lieutenant Governor, it is both my working office and my home. When Government House was built in 1834, the Governor at the time, Edmund Fanning, set aside 100 surrounding acres. That is why the house is now called Government House at Fanning Bank. It wasn't until 50 years later that 90 of the acres were given to the city of Charlottetown to become the place islanders and visitors know and love so well, Victoria Park. During World War I, the house and gardens were offered to injured veterans who had returned home from the war. At the end of the First World War, a convalescent hospital was built on the grounds. Today, there is a memorial veterans garden where the hospital stood for people to quietly reflect on soldiers who gave their lives to protect our country. The architectural design of Government House is Georgian and designed in the Palladian tradition, which was inspired by the buildings of ancient Rome. It is of wood frame construction. The foundation of the house is secured with red island sandstone and despite considerable remodeling, has remained the same structure built by Isaac Smith since its origin in 1834. The residence has seven bedrooms, six full bathrooms and three half bathrooms. There are nine working fireplaces eight on the main floor, and one in the governor's room on the second floor. A very detailed list of the inventory which came over on the ship from England includes six pieces of furniture which are still used in the house today. Over the years, the decor has changed and the walls have been painted. The paintings you see on the wall are from the Confederation Center and from the Provincial Collection. Chances are you have seen the very famous Canadian picture of the Fathers of Confederation standing at Government House front steps in 1864. This is an important historical photo because it documented the beginning of our country when delegates from the Eastern Colonies met in Charlottetown to discuss Maritime Union. They were joined by a delegation from the Colony of Canada which back then was just Ontario and Quebec. The Canadian delegates managed to switch the topic from maritime union to a union of all British North American colonies. 
This is the group that is now known as the Fathers of Confederation. The house serves as a focus of official hospitality in the province, and each year, many distinguished visitors to Prince Edward Island are welcomed here. Kings and queens, princes and princesses have all stayed at Government House. Government House remains an integral part of island culture. In most provinces, including PEI, lieutenant governors present honors of the provincial crown to deserving citizens and travel around the province to attend events. Every year, countless celebrations and ceremonies are also held at the house, such as honors and awards presentations, volunteer recognition and appreciation activities, and patron organization awareness events. Each year, I invite the public to the garden party in July, the Christmas open house in early December, and the New Year's Day levy. The grounds are open daily, and tours of the house are available during July and August, Monday to Friday, between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. Tours are also available to students and groups throughout the year by booking in advance. Community involvement is very important to me and to all Lieutenant Governors, but while very rewarding, hosting the parties and events is a lot of work. Did you know there are approximately 50 people who volunteer their time to support the Lieutenant Governor? They serve as aide-de-camp, tour guides, hostesses, and members of the House and Grounds Committees. When I am out of the province, the Chief Justice is in charge as the administrator. The flag is lowered to show the public that the Lieutenant Governor is not presently in residence. Government House and its beautiful grounds are an attractive and enduring reminder of our historic past and a continuing symbol of our allegiance to the Crown. If you are interested in further information about my role and of Government House, please visit our website at lgpei.ca.